Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a kind of a fun video. I'm going to be working on my brother's car. Um, we're going to be wrapping the trim either black or metallic gray. Not 100% sure what we're going to go with. Um, it is winter, so we have to do something that's winter related. I think wrapping the trim is winter related. Um, I tend to go full retard sometimes. So we're just going to be working on that. I tried working on the door yesterday, trying to cut off the you know the parts of the metal that was sticking out of the door. But when I did that, it looks like I messed with the hinge. Now the door doesn't shut right. So that was a fail. I was gonna make a video on that yesterday, but that didn't work out. So gotta delete that video. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean. I don't know if it's the hinge or the door. I mean the door is disabled for sure, but uh, the hinge. I don't know if it's the hinge that's the issue or the door. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you think it's the hinge. But today's video, we're just gonna be working on um, wrapping the trim. Alright guys, so as you can see the door closes flush, but we have to hold we have to pick up the door to close it. So when you open it, the door drops. And it, it hits against the you know the piece that allows the door to lock. So what I have to do is pull up the door. And I just, of course I'm gonna have to reset the thing. Yep, and that's how messed up it is right now. I gotta pick up the door and then I can close it. Um, but I don't know because I cut right here guys so if you come over here I cut off the sheet of metal because it was bent in and it was like hitting the wires every time you open up the door and I feel like that was going to mess it up so I just ended up cutting that out but when I cut this out and I cut up this little you know this little piece probably didn't inflict anything I don't know if it did or not I cut this little piece I cut that little piece and then now the door drops whenever I open it I don't know what caused this to happen do you think the rigidity of the door messed up or the hinge messed up you guys let me know um, what exactly you think happened uh, that would mean a lot, but to stay in the focus of this video, we're just going to be wrapping the trim. Alright guys, so I'm going to take off the all three screws. There's a screw back here, a screw back here, and a screw back here. I'll show you guys how I like to do it, and I already lost my, uh, my head. I'll come back to the video when I find it. Right. And at this point, I can see it's not making any more of a difference. It's pretty much out. I'm gonna make sure I keep losing this guy. It's no longer magnetic, so I gotta keep making sure it's in there. I'm gonna turn the wheel over here for you guys and just do the exact same thing. Find the hole. There's a hole. Right up here. Put the screw in there and just start unscrewing. Let's go ahead and try taking this out now. Easy does it, that's all it takes. All right guys, so there's one screw right here, one screw over here, I'll get back to you guys when I get those out. All right, so at this point guys, I did take this off. Uh, I tried plastic dipping it last week, but it turned out really, really, really bad. Uh, and also you can see a little bit of flakes of the metallic gray that I tried uh, spray painting the fender with. Um, that'll be in, a, in another video guys. Yeah guys, so I did end up getting my brother a fender uh, and we painted it for him. Uh, I got it for really, really cheap, so you just put on the fender for him. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught that or not. And so at this point, uh, we did get this off. We're gonna unpeel the plasti dip, and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap it. We have metal. What we're gonna be using is this gloss of gray wrap. We also have metallic gray wrap. Uh, we don't know which one we're gonna go with, but and we also don't know if we're gonna wrap these chrome things. My brother likes them. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of them, but uh, we'll see how we're gonna do it.
right guys, so that is honestly the finished product. It looked 10 times better than stupid Plasti Dip. You know, Plasti Dip should never ever be used ever again, in my personal opinion. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and screw the three screws back here and that's done, so that is a DIY. So if you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button and uh, we'll show you guys probably how we coated his car and things like that in the next video. Peace out. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know, you're all I